Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for staying up late with us on TCM as we move into the final hours of Summer Under the Stars with today's featured player, John Carradine, one of the finest character actors of his time. Tonight, we are presenting a selection of Carradine's roles in movies directed by John Ford. Up next, their fifth collaboration. It's from 20th Century Fox in 1939, Drums Along the Mohawk. Henry Fonda and Claudette Colbert star as newlyweds living along the Mohawk River in upstate New York just as the Revolutionary War begins. They're soon forced to defend their farm when an eyepatch-wearing British agent, that's John Carradine, tries to drive them and other frontier families away by leading raids with the local Native American tribes. The cast also includes Edna Mae Oliver in an Oscar-nominated performance, as well as several members of Ford's stock company, including Carradine, Ward Bond, Arthur Shields, Jack Pennock, Russell Simpson, and Ford's brother, Francis Ford. Just as he did with nearly every member of his stock company, Ford frequently argued with Carradine. More than argue, Ford was known to berate Carradine mercilessly, much as he used to do with John Wayne. But Ford's words rarely landed with Carradine. According to Ford biographer Ronald Davis, Carradine seemed impervious to insult, which of course infuriated John Ford even more. Not only Johnson, who worked with Ford and Carradine while writing the screenplay for The Grapes of Wrath, explained that Carradine had an ego roughly three times as big as Ford, so, quote, Ford could not put him down in any way. Carradine and John Ford first worked together on The Prisoner of Shark Island from 1936, but they had crossed paths quite a few years earlier. Carradine arrived in Hollywood in 1927, soon landing a job working for Cecil B. DeMille as a scene designer. He was fired after two weeks, but he kept his acting chops up by projecting Shakespeare's speeches in the Hollywood Bowl on the nights it was empty. Well, one night, a local resident who lived near the bowl became so angry about the noise coming from the open-air stage that he called the police. That resident was John Ford. John Carradine was especially strong in villainous roles, and he liked how Ford introduced his character in Drums Along the Mohawk, so look out for that. He's seated, and as Carradine put it, you don't know who he is until he turns around, and then you see the patch on the eye. He was a very mysterioso character. Here's the film from 1939, Drums Along the Mohawk. 